What up, man? Scandalous schools coming to y'all live and direct. Custom made crew, man. Repping that real LA hip hop and shit. You know, coming from all over the LA area. You know, from downtown to South Central to the South Bay. You know, everywhere in between and shit. You put it down and hustle. You know, I've been doing this shit since like '96. So I mean, that's a good almost almost 11 years and shit. Just rhyming and shit. Coming up on 07. So I mean, it's basically, you know, I've just been doing this rhyming shit. I've been involved in the whole hip hop culture, you know, just from, you know, the rhyming, you know, graffiti, DJing, and then just, you know, took it to like a whole business scale. Because I mean, I hustle, man, you know, I really get out there, man, and I, you know, I get on my grind and shit, make sure shit happens. I mean, we just do real music for real people. So I mean, basically like, you know, we did, we did a whole customation in high school. You know, got together around like 01, 02. I mean, basically just ran with it from there. You know, linked up and just pushed. That was the whole goal. We just linked up and pushed. We was like, fuck it, man. We gonna take over and shit. It's no joke, man. We playing no games, man. It's like Neek said, man. Go hard or go home. The whole movement is fresh. It's fresh out. Shout out to Sinister Six. You know, he's always bouncing around, man. Always, you know, getting active and shit. You know, he's locked up right now. But it's all good, man. When you get out, you know, you back with it, man. We, we got you, man. Don't even trip. So, I mean, it's all good. I mean, basically, man, the music is just us. We just talking about what we do, how we live. I mean, our experiences. You listening to the music that we make, man. Like, you hear the dawn, man. That's just what we was thinking at the time, man. We talking about wilding out. We talking about the shit that we do, how we living in the streets, man. Everything that we want to do, man. Everything, you know, our goals, shit that we've accomplished, shit that we've seen. We rapping about shit that just happened in the streets like five minutes prior or anything in general, man. So I'm saying like the stuff that we do, we real hands on, man. Everything is hands on. It's just hip hop, man. That's what it's about when it first comes down to it, man, about hip hop. And it's about, you know, about the love that we got for hip hop, about the love that we got for, you know, the whole culture, and about the crew, man. This is fan right here, man. We, we, we locking shit down. This is the culture, man. This is how it goes down out here, man. I mean, shit. If y'all don't know, I think y'all know now. If you don't know, you better fucking ask somebody, because this shit is real, man. It gets real live out here, man. It's real active. I mean, shit, I've been doing this shit since I was young, man. I mean, I went from fucking, you know, getting arrested, getting hemmed up, you know, catching court cases and shit, all that shit. You know, I was like, man, fuck this shit. Shit ain't even worth it no more, man. So, you know, we decided to take all the bullshit, just cut that shit out, man. It's like, I mean, I still wild out, man, but I mean, it ain't worth it like that, man. You just gotta be smart what the fuck you doing, man. It ain't worth going to court. Going to court is just getting you broker. That's all it's doing and shit. Every time I go to court, man, I get, I get more broke. I ain't trying to be broke no more, real shit. So it's basically like, man, you know, we taking everything that we learned and experienced from, you know, years of doing this shit. Cause I mean, when you start out in the game, man, you don't know shit. I mean, it's basically like we taught ourselves, man. We ain't had nobody mentoring us, no one teaching us, showing us the ropes. We had to learn this shit all ourselves, man. I mean, it's all self-experience and all like knowledge that we had to learn, man. We basically studied the fucking culture ourselves, man. We studied everything ourselves. We studied the game ourselves, man. I mean, we the true definition of, you know, getting out and hustling, man. Real shit. We go hard in the streets. We go hard with the hip hop shit. It's no joke. So I'm saying, like, we learned all this shit ourselves. And I mean, hard work pays off. That's what it's all about, man. That's the whole model of the fucking story, man. Hard work pays off. Get on your grind, man. If you got something, you can do anything you want. All you kids out there and shit, aspiring hip hop artists, man, you can do anything the fuck you want, man. Real shit. I mean, anything can be accomplished if you put, if you got the motivation, you got the dedication, the determination, and you got the work ethic, anything can be accomplished, and that's real shit, and that's real talk. And man, remember who the fuck you are, man. Cause a lot of cats out here, man, in LA, they forgot who the fuck they are, man. They forgot where they came from and shit. Hey yo, we bring it back to the streets one time and spit correctly, energetically. I get y'all shit stashed like Gretzky. My sister snore white lines up in the nose. We on the blocks below where the hustle status it shows. But death speak to me frequently. I'm trying to know. Cause most of us won't ever accomplish our goals. So I understand why most cats resort to the blow. When bitches asking why I got that mask over my nose. But I ain't the type to answer no questions a lot. But I could point to vacant spots where bodies are rot. Cause this ain't no LA movement. I don't give a fuck about shit.